हेलो स्टूडेंट्स हाउ आर यू ऑल माई सेल्फ हितेशी मेहता हाई फ्रेंड्स यू नो दैट वी आर सराउंडेड बाई ए नंबर ऑफ थिंग्स अराउंड अस लाइक प्लांट्स वॉटर टेबल चेयर व्हीकल्स एयर एनिमल्स एक्सेट्रा ऑल दीज थिंग्स ऑक्यूपाई स्पेस and have some weight this are called matter let's learn about it do you know what is matter name some things which you find around you that are table chair charts fan chalk blackboard water can books and bag apart from this we have trees plants animals vehicles lakes sea buildings machines and air around us any substance that have weight and occupy space is called matter all the above said are matter states of matter all matter is made up of tiny particles called molecules they are attached to one another by some force all the molecules of a substance are same but different substance have different molecules there are three states of matter that are liquid solid and gas tell me some example of solids chalk wood iron yes in solid substance the molecules are packed very closely to each other and are strongly bonded because of this solid have a definite shape and the size that cannot be changed easily we have to apply force to change it now some example of liquid water milk kerosene petrol and juices in the liquids the molecules are not very closely packed liquids can flow so they are called fluids they do not have the shape of their own like the solids but take the shape of the containers which they are poured in and they always have a definite shape gas is the third state of matter an example is air which is a mixture of oxygen carbon dioxide nitrogen and other gases in gas the molecules are very loosely bonded and have strong force between them to stay together gas can be contained in a small flask or a big container let us show some activity to find difference between solid liquid and gas collect some solids like wood iron stone tin and rubber observe their shape now keep them at the different places Have you found any changes in the shape of them? No, because that all the solid have a definite shape. Now, pour some liquid into the bottle. observe the shape of a water that is like the bottle itself now pour that water into the glass observe the shape of a water now 
water has taken the shape of a glass. This shows that the liquid do not have a definite shape. They occupy the shape of the container which they are poured in. Like liquid, gases also do not have the shape. They take the shape of the place in which they are present. For example, an empty bottle. Air is in bottle takes the shape of the bottle. Air is in cycle tube takes the shape of the cycle tube. Air is in balloon take the shape of the balloon. Now, activity 4. This activity called that gases flow faster than the liquid. Take two balloons of equal size, blow air into one of the balloon and tie its snake. Fill water into the another balloon and tie its snake. See that both the balloons are of same size. Now loosen their necks at the same time. Air and water moves out of the balloons. Note which balloons becomes empty first. You will see that the balloons filled with what air gets empty first than the balloons filled with the water. This is because air rushes out of the balloon faster than the water. Thus all gases flow faster than liquids. Let's perform one more activity to find the difference between gases and liquids. Burn an intense stick or agarbati in one corner of a room. You can smell the smoke coming out. Now go to the other corner. You can smell the agarbati there also. This is because the smoke or gases flows and can expand to fill the space. Take two glasses of different size. One big and the other small. Fill the small glass full of water. Now pour this water into a bigger one. Does the water fill the bigger glass completely? This shows that liquids do not expand. A given quantity of liquid always takes up the same amount of space. 